Hello artists, today we're going to have some fun making art using some of Kandinsky's favorite shapes. Now when we looked at Kandinsky's paintings, we saw that he used all kinds of different shapes. He used lots of geometric shapes with straight lines and angled lines. He also used some organic shapes with wiggly wobbly lines. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start by drawing three geometric shapes. Okay, I'm going to start with a circle and then I'm going to overlap a little square and I'm going to add a triangle. Now I'm going to add the organic shapes. Okay, they're the wiggly wobbly ones. They're the ones that uh, you're more likely to find in nature. Things like the shape of a leaf, that sort of thing. Now I'm going to take a permanent marker and I'm going to outline my work. Please make sure you use a permanent marker because we are going to be painting and if you don't use a permanent marker, that black line will bleed all over the place. We don't want that. All right. You notice I kind of still missed, even though I was trying to be careful, I still missed some of those pencil lines. Not to worry about that because I'm going to get out the eraser and I'm going to erase all of those pencil lines. We have to do it now because once you've painted, you can't get rid of them. I'm going to start with the color red. I'm going to paint my geometric uh, shapes in primary colors. And uh, notice I started with the outside of the shape and then I filled it in. I'm going to do this one yellow. Uh oh, I don't think I washed the brush well enough. It's a little bit orange. Better be more careful next time. All right, so I'll do a really good job of washing my brush this time. And I'm going to add my third primary color, which is blue. And notice I'm not painting that space where the two shapes overlap. I wonder why. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess why. Well, we know that yellow and blue, they happen to make green. So I'm going to paint that part green. All right, we've got another uh, secondary color to go. Red and blue make purple, so I'm gonna color the shape in between purple. And then, of course, red and yellow make orange, so I'm gonna color this one orange. That leaves one little lonely shape down in the corner. Um, I think I'm gonna go with red for that little lonely shape because it kind of balances out the picture a little bit, I think. All right, I kind of went over the line. That's okay, I can fix that a little bit. I'm going to paint my background. I'm going to do this side in orange and I'm going to do the other side in yellow and kind of just have them blend together. All right, it's important that I want you to paint all of your paper so that there, there isn't um, white space. Uh, so check up all those little spots, take a second look. All right, I've got most of them. The next day after it's dry, I'm going to give you a little piece of black paper and you are going to cut out a whole bunch of different shapes, geometric ones and organic ones. Now you're gonna use every scrap of paper that you cut. So we're not going to um, throw any of these pieces away. You're gonna use all of those pieces on your work. Now sometimes the pieces that we think are just scrap turned out to be the most interesting pieces of all and they add a lot to our artwork. So I'm gonna sort of play around and see what I think looks best on the paper, arrange them. And then once I'm happy, I can start gluing them down. Uh, kind of close, but I think I'm gonna change one thing. I'm gonna cut this into smaller pieces and make like a little dotted line across there. I think that looks better. All right, once I've got that done, I'm gonna start gluing the pieces down one at a time. Pick up one and glue it down. That way you, you remember where they are. All right, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Remember, you are taking your time and doing a really nice, clean, careful job. Your painting will look sort of like this. Um, when you're done, you'll be able to say that you can create an abstract work of art, that you can make a watercolor painting, and that you can connect your work to that of Kandinsky's. Pretty impressive. All right, have fun and go forth and be brilliant.